Hey guys, this is I, Troll and Ike with Rollout Reviews, bringing you another Big Hero 6 toy review. This time it is Honey Lemon. Now, this is the Disney Store exclusive version of this figure, meaning it has a more premium paint job and a different style of packaging than the standard retail release. However, the packaging is exactly the same on all of these figures. If you want to know what that looks like, go take a look at my Hero Hamada review. Anyway, let's see how this figure holds up. Spoilers, it's it's not very good. It's not very good at all. Just, no. No. I will say, the premium paint job on the Disney Store exclusive version looks great. The shiny pink and the shiny orange, they all look pretty good. A lot better than the retail release. Unfortunately, that's where all of the upsides of this figure end. And hold on tight, fellas, because this review is going to get a little bit ranty from here on out. We'll start with the head sculpt. I mentioned in the Hiro Hamada, the Gogo Tomogo, and the Wasabi no Ginger reviews that they were lacking the visor on their helmet designs. Whereas those figures didn't really suffer aesthetically from that, I think this one definitely does. There's a certain shape that that visor provides that's just missing here and it makes the helmet look very unfinished it also makes her face just look a little bit flat and and uninteresting i think the preliminary shots uh, the the early version of this figure had a much better face sculpt whereas this one just looks vacant Almost. The details are nice, but she just doesn't look quite there. Also, the hair is very restrictive and molded in only a single direction. Now, before I talk about the sculpt and how this figure was constructed, which is appalling, honestly, I'll go over the articulation. The head is on a ball joint, but once again is restricted by the hair here. The arms, they go forward and back, and surprisingly in and out. That's pretty nice. No elbows, no rotation, nothing. In fact, this arm here is molded in this bent position. The legs, they go forward and back this far, and that's it. That is literally all you can do with Honey Lemon. Her only accessories are her purse, which does nothing but hang there, and this little foot stand thing, which is also strange. It clips onto her foot. It doesn't look subtle at all, but she's got peg holes in her feet. In fact, all of the figures have peg holes in their feet. So I have no idea why they didn't just give her a stand to peg into. It would work a lot better than this, and it would look much less obtrusive. Now, I really would have wished she came with maybe a bomb to hold. In fact, I don't even think it should have been a separate piece. She just should have had one of her, like, chemical orbs, I don't really know what they are, uh, molded in this hand. So that's, she'd have some kind of weapon, you know, something like that. But no, she just has her purse and she just kind of stands there. Now, let's talk about how this figure was constructed from the waist down, because this boggles my mind. And I, like, I have no idea why they would do this. You can see here there's a seam line that goes from here to here. The front and the back of her body are two separate pieces. And connected to one of those sides, there's sort of a rod piece that goes from here to here and pegs into the other side. Now the waist piece up here has like a hole that that rod loops into. It's hard to explain. It's hard to imagine. But it's just as hard to get your head around why they would do this. Basically, all you need to know is that it results in this being super wobbly, super flimsy. She's like one of those uh, dashboard hula dancers for no reason. 
it just feels cheap. She's so thin, all of her joints are rubbery. They could have engineered some kind of joint into her knees and elbows. I'm sure of it. I've seen figures with that small of joints. Um, if nothing else, they could have made these maybe a little bit more rubbery and had like a piece of wire run through it so that you could at least bend the leg, at least give it some articulation. Unfortunately, it really feels to me like the designers of this toy line said, you know what, we're gonna target this towards boys. And so the figure that's a girl and the figure that's pink, we're just not gonna put any effort into it at all. And I hate that. Like, this could have been a decent figure if it had more articulation. I could forgive the visor being missing. It's just that it feels cheap. It feels like... It feels like they decided to... to just make this the figure for the little sister and all the other figures for her older brother. And I don't like it. Now, once again, I really hope they make a larger scale toy line for this movie because above all of these figures, Honey Lemon could benefit from a larger figure with more articulation because this is just, this is just pathetic. Only get her to complete the six. Otherwise, skip on this entirely. It's not worth it. It's, it's just, it's not good. It's not good. It's just, I can't, I can't even... 10 out of 10! I love it! Anyway, that is about it, guys, and this is IXRollerX, signing off.